Hello, it's Reese from Alaska Seeds of Change, here to tell you about lasagna gardens and show you how we made ours. Lasagna gardens are low effort, low maintenance, alternative gardening method that uses composting. More accurately, uses decomposition to further overall growth. It may be named funny, but lasagna gardens have more to do with the layers than pasta. First, we water the soil we will be building on. Then we get our biodegradable and absorbent recyclable material. We've been collecting tons and tons of cardboard. This will smother the weeds and unwanted vegetation underneath the garden bed. Then we add a nice layer of manure right on top of the cardboard. That we water right after. Manure gives a healthy dose of nitrogen. Next, we add leaves and water and water them so everything meshes together to try to create the best environment for our plants. Leaves will do the carbon work for us. We're trying to add nitrogen and carbon rich material to the middle, the stuff plants need in order to grow. We make enough layers of water recyclables and nitrogen carbon rich materials to reach between 12 and 18 inches of height from the ground. This meat and cheese of our lasagna garden facilitates the cycle of decomposition, helping grow. Watering everything so that it soaks through is very important. Since decomposition is the goal, we're going to water this too. Our garden is wide and varied, so doing this in every bed will be an arduous task. As we get to each of them, the next step is more of that smothering from earlier. Weed cloth will get spread around the garden beds to stop weeds from developing all around our plants. Kelly Ballantyne here gets the cloth a good distance onto the beds themselves and far enough out to keep those weeds out. Having them closer protects the beds from cultivating weeds. Weed cloth smothers and in time kills all the weeds in its path. Wood chips double down as weed control while also being renewable usable for mulch and can be good fertilizer for other projects. As we see one of our growers doing, we start to spread chips all around the beds. Because they are raised, we don't have to worry about the chips negatively affecting our plants. The wood chips will complete the garden, being liberally placed around each bed and even past the weed cloth. We complete with watering and start the process of planting. 
Planting is done by digging a hole into the bed, filling that with topsoil, and then adding to the hardened off plant into the hole with topsoil surrounding it. Using this technique, we can see the fruits of our labors. Thanks a lot for watching our video on creating lasagna beds from scratch. Try our other videos too.